Ever wonder what 50 year old space candy tastes like? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're pretty seasoned at this point when it comes to tasting some fairly old snacks. I think of myself as a barbecue seasoned man. Okay, well, yeah. I, I think of myself as a ranch man. Okay. But do you ever think about what food from right now, if you were to, instead of eating it, you would just save it so that later when people want to collect it, you can put it on eBay and make thousands, if not millions of dollars. What man, snack would that be? It's tough for me to just hold back and not eat my snacks. Like I know. Saving them for an investment strategy is, I don't even know if that's on my docket. But I think it would be that popcorn that's a little bit cheese and a little bit caramel mixed together. You know, I think they call it Chicago style. I can imagine people like fighting to the death on eBay over that. I've told, I've been told I need to stay away from it. But now that we've gotten the future taken care of because we can start hoarding those, we're gonna okay. take a dive into the past, all right? It's time for To Be Discontinued, more, 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 more snacks edition. We all know somebody or a group of somebodies who are completely obsessed with Trader Joe's, right? Uh -huh. Their products and sometimes even their cashiers. The only thing that Trader Joe's fans seem to not love as much is the fact that some of their favorites don't stick around forever because Joe is always discontinuing crap. Yeah. And one of those hopefully delicious items is our first discontinued snack. Birthday cake popcorn from Trader Joe's. He giveth and he taketh away. We paid 20 bucks for this what? satchel of popcorn. You wanna open it up? Um, um, this was, was pretty recently Released deceased. in 2018, deceased uh, just a couple of years ago. Oh, look, look, hold on. Oh. It's party, I party packed it. Yeah, so throw, I want you to reach in. Have a party on the table. So what is, what is in this stuff? Well, you know, it's that birth, I'm sure it's that birthday cake flavor that they've been putting in so many things. I mean, how's it, how's it holding up two years later? It it tastes fine. Very sweet. Well, it's, it tastes fine okay, as in it. As frosty. It, it tastes fine as in it doesn't taste like it's gonna hurt us, but it doesn't taste good to me. You, and I like everything. It's coated in icing and it tastes like frosting. So I guess I'm gonna say it's coated in frosting. I don't like What's it. What's the difference between frosting and icing anyway? Who gives a crud? I'll tell you what people give a crud about. You said that thing about the cashiers. This is actually a phenomenon at Trader Joe's. Like people, people be flirting with the with the cashiers. And vice versa. Um, Ald Aldi Penny, Aldi Penny on uh, Twitter said, the cashier at Trader Joe's was so nice to me that when I walked out of the store, I thought, should I go back in? Yeah, and there's then, more, read another one. Um, Jennifer Merritt says, I used to want a boyfriend, but now I just go to Trader Joe's once a week and make conversation with a cashier. It's the same level of intimacy. Ouch. And then Mark says, if you didn't flirt with a hot Trader Joe's employee, did you even grocery shop? I mean, I, listen, I'm a married man. I don't think of Trader Joe's in this way. This does explain why, when I was talking to my older kids about getting jobs, like summer jobs or whatever, a while back, they were like, I think I wanna work at Trader Joe's. That's what Lincoln told me. How do you make birthday popcorn uh, flirty? Can you do that for me? Oh, there's some sprinkles in here. Can I sprinkle that's, it? That's your flirty. Can I place? sprinkle it in? Don't apply. In your Please mouth? Please don't apply to Trader Joe's. I hate this. Can I, I, I think, you hate it? I but hate it. But you love the other popcorn. Uh, yeah, but because it's it's the right flavors. It's caramel and cheese together. This is just, yeah, I don't like it. You like it? I mean, you can bring it back if you want to. I won't eat it if you do. I don't give a crap. Okay, Trader Joe's birthday cake popcorn. Nah, nah that's mm. whack. You ever think back to the Y2K era and wonder, what were people eating for breakfast while waiting for the imminent computer shutdown instigated apocalypse? I was a toddler then. I wasn't alive then. Whatever. You were just a toddler? Because no, I seem to remember I, we I just graduated just college. Yeah, we, oh, we lived it. Uh, well, it turns out the answer is people are eating Cheerios Millennials. I do not remember this. I, but it seems like we should with such a flashy packaging. I mean, it looks so futuristic. It's, it's cheery O's, but then they also made a two. They threw some twos in there. So you could have a 20, you could have a 200, or you could have a Y2K, baby. But, but if you put the 2000 on your spoon, the entire box would disintegrate. Oh, really? You no, know, because of Y2K. I just thought if you were the right age and you ate these, your balls would drop. Yep, mm-hmm, right. Well, Get it? Let's, let's see if we can find out. Yeah, now. let's drop our balls. Have your balls dropped? <laughs> There's always room ball, for more. Have your balls dropped lately? <laughs> Mine have been slowly dropping for quite some time. The second drop is a slow one. <laughs> if you've, the first one is sudden, the second one is a lifetime. If, <laughs> if your balls had already dropped by Y2K, then they're still dropping. This just makes them keep dropping. Speaking of dropping balls, uh, you know Dick Clark's countdown 
in, in September of 1999. Dick's Clark. They actually collaborated with Dick Clark, and I think this might be what have killed him. Definitely. This is de kind of my thing here. Um, okay, keep that over there. I, is it okay to make Dick Clark jokes now? Okay. Sure. You got a sure. Th th I'm sorry, but that's not a two. It's an S. That's a five. It's not a five. Well, it's tough to make it. Hold two. on, hold on, hold on. I mean, that's a, actually a pretty a good. That's, that's a, a two for me. A two What's for a you? two for you? That's a pretty good two. <laughs> What's a two for you? Is that a five? For I mean, you? the two oh, machine. Gosh. The two machine is more. Uh, there's more delicacy in making a two than a zero. I think this is a real bad idea to eat these, especially uh, with milk on them, because yep. it like unlocks something from the millennium. Ooh, it tastes. It tastes horrible. I can smell the. Bogs I think. On I think this. we got a bog's taste. Can we bring in the bogs? <laughs> yeah, this has got a bogsiness to it. Oh God, yes. Let me compare. Yeah, bogs it. Let me compare the bogsness. I mean, <sighs> oh, it's got more bogs than bogs. We're getting bogs because down, at least bogs has chocolate. This is just straight bogs. I mean, oh gosh, and unadulterated bit, bogs and a little bit of Dick Clark. The thing that I love about on the back, <laughs> they 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 encourage you to create your own time capsule so people can remember you when you inevitably die at the stroke of midnight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is morbid. I mean, I it wasn't it. you that made it morbid. Let's close this. Yeah, yeah, keep, it keep was contained. the box. Cheerios Millennium. I mean, how would we even bring it back if we wanted to? Nah, that's, that's whack. whack. Before we try our next discontinued snack, we want to ask you: Did you happen to see what happened to us over this past weekend on our TikTok? Well, we pulled an all-nighter, and things got way crazier than we expected. But we were able to capture the whole thing on camera. Oh God. Link! Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Link. Okay, so head over to Mythical on TikTok and experience what ended up being a very strange night. Okay, when Toy Story came back, uh, it went down in history as one of the greatest sequels of all time. Yep. Wouldn't you agree, I do even agree. to this day? Uh -huh. So does that mean that these 22-year-old Toy Story 2 cookies should come back too? Oh, Let's man. decide. We paid $60 for Woo! this unopened, unspoiled. <laughs> Packaging um, of cookies. Now, I cannot enjoy a Toy Story movie without crying. I can't, I mean, I can't right. watch a Pix, I can't enjoy a Pixar movie. It's, it is like just waterworks for me. Like sometimes just like the opening title will get a tear. So I'm wondering if these cookies are gonna do the same thing. I mean, it's got all eight characters that you can, not all eight, but eight different characters that you can, that you can chew on. Oh, oh. they're, oh, and there's something complimentary. Yes. The, all right, so what here's, is that? here's all the cookies. What's this, Link? Here's a pig. Oh, it's sweet tarts. Sweet tarts are in here. It says sweet tarts are inside, and what you're supposed to do is special interactive spaceship cookie. You can put Buzz Lightyear inside of a spaceship. Oh, well, we're gonna do that. All right, here, <laughs> Let me tell you right now. There, if I can there's ever get a spaceship these open. for you. I just really want to get a Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? Well, you know what? You're gonna have to do that on your own. Oh, here's a Woody. Look, I got a Woody. Look, you put Buzz in there. Now, to infinity and beyond! Uh, it's got the bogs. Be oh. careful. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. I it's never occurred to me to, too much cookie. to eat like a shortbread cookie and a sweet tart at the same time, especially if they're 22 years old, but <clears throat> Okay. I feel like I got the taste. Did you mix a sweet tart in there? Because that was actually pretty good. I did, that helped. Mm -hmm. Toy Story 2 has staying power. Yeah. I mean, you can go back and watch it. How? Just like looking at it again. No, but how do you access it? Uh, I don't know, I always get my kids to put the movies on. Oh, okay. I like the mystery of do not you, knowing where they come from. You talking about DVDs? Yeah, something Digital like that. video discs? But I really like. Yeah, this is a good combo. To put this a little... strange combo. Of course, we're big fans of, of strange combos. Nobody else is doing this. 
Pixar can pull it off and you can cry in the process. Toy Story 2 cookies, bring, bring it, it back. back. Houston, we have a problem. The Pillsbury Doughboy is floating outside of the space station. <laughs> Wait a minute, it looks like he's trying to give us something. It's 40 plus year old Pillsbury space food sticks. Yes, that's a thing. These we paid $30 for. They were discontinued in the late 70s, early 80s, originally developed in the 60s. And actually they were, they were uh, supposed to be a non-frozen, nutritionally balanced food that one could eat on the go. And the reason they call them space food sticks is because the chief food technologist, Howard Bowman? He Shout actually, out to Howard. He helped engineer the first solid food astronauts could consume. So he was like all into space food. They went to the source. They went to Pillsbury and Howard when they wanted to get space food. So it's like an energy bar, but before they existed, so they called it a food stick. You don't want to think too much, like when- There's nothing like this out there now. Well, crises are happening in space and you're gonna be like, where are the food sticks? So like, it's easy to remember. Food stick. Food stick. Food stick. Food stick. I will oh. say though. Oh, God, gosh, look at it. Oh, God, God, gosh. <laughs> oh, God, God, God. It's got some sort of internal- Is that part of it or part of the package? I think it's wrapped in astronaut intestine. You need to be careful though, because if you consume this, it may be blasting out of your anus later. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, there's a foil wrapper, and then there's a, a plastic wrapper. I wanna keep it intact so I can look at this log and it's glory. It looks like a beef jerky with some I mean, liner. It, it's a Tootsie Roll. It looks like a Tootsie Roll. No, it's a food stick. No, but it's made, I mean, it's chewy chocolate malt. Can I have half? I mean, it's a freaking crayon. Is it gonna break or is it just it's gonna be? It's too old to break. Oh, there, there it goes. Go. Are you supposed to share food sticks or does everybody get one? Here, take half of my food stick. Thank you, Bill. Now. Are you are you scared? Cause I am. Hold on. This is this is really boggy. Wow. It's the same. It's it's on the low. Ho, ho. It's exactly, isn't it? There's no difference. There's no difference between bogs and food sticks. That's a meme. <laughs> what just happened? There is no difference. I can't see any difference. What is it? It's, what the, is sa it? it's the, the same one with, picture. It's the one with Pam. It's the same picture. Uh, I Hold like on. the idea of a food stick. Did you, though. But you didn't smell both of them. You got caught up in the memes and didn't even do the thing that's I didn't amazing. Smell it. It's exactly the same. Like, close your eyes. I, I, I close get your it. eyes and tell me which one you're smelling. Uh, okay. Sniff. Probably the food stick. Ha ha ha! Got him. I boxed him. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, I was freaking boxing you. I thought you, I would man. feel the box. I freaking boxed you okay, right in okay. front of your face. All right, wait, you got me. They're the same picture. That's what I was thinking about. Thank you for that. That's what I said. Twinkle at least twice. Um, oh, okay. Let's taste. I just I like things in stick form versus bar form because like, you, you have a mouth. I'm not gonna. I mean, think. About I'm not gonna it. swallow that. But round things fit in mouths better than flat things. See. See, and since when? Can I just you, made a meme too. Since when can you talk? It's the same with, with a, you can't talk with an energy bar in your mouth. Right. right. You can talk with a food yeah. stick in your mouth. A food stick leaves the rest of the mouth hey, man. closed. Hey man, I'm just I'm just chatting it up with my friends when I'm eating my food stick out here in Spain. How are you supposed to talk to Houston with a bar in your mouth? Yeah, you can't do it, but you can talk to anybody with a food stick in your mouth, and it makes you seem like you got a little bit more swagger. And you can't tell, but I'm still licking it. Those very straight food sticks. Bring, bring it back. back! You know what? I don't have enough elderly caterpillars in my life. Who does? So let's eat some roasted caterpillars that are over 50 years old. Look at this can. Straight out of the can. Reese brand roasted caterpillar, not Reese's or Reese's. This is a different There's company. A... I would love for there to be a freaking butterfly in there. I mean, it's been 50 years. That's what, true. What, what have they been up to? Hey, listen, Just waiting if to come out. you open this thing up with a can opener and a butterfly flies out, we're taking the rest of the day off. Going to the movies. Oh, we get going, to go to the movies? Going steak dinner. Yes. Getting dessert, splitting yeah. a Sunday. Yep, and then can we play uh, hockey? Xbox. Air hockey. Air hockey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. find an air hockey? Like an air table? Just like old times. Yeah. I really hope there's a butterfly. I'm just gonna slam this on there. I just oh, broke the seal. Okay. That, that hasn't been broken in 50 years. Just listen. You smell anything? Is it gonna be wet? Okay, the smell is, okay. I, so I don't get the smell Oh, yet. I got the smell. Oh man, I got some smell. Okay, first of all. Oh gosh, you can't smell that? What's wrong, are you too close to it? I can't Flip smell. the lid and put your face okay. on it. Okay. Make a meme. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Can you not smell that? Oh, it's horrible. I can't smell it. What? <laughs> oh, if that smell was going that the way. smell was going this way. Oh, oh, there was a smell. Oh, there was a smell oh, hole right oh, above it, and it was going around and getting to meat. Uh, I'm not trying that. Uh, I mean, I just don't think that would be wise. Fifty. I mean, they made them moist back then. Is there any, any no, butterflies it's, in no, there? No, it's dry. Maybe there's a butterfly on the bottom. Maybe one of them got alive. Raised. It looks like it could just. Look at that. When I move it, it seems like it still keeps moving. I on think its they own. caught. Here, here, you got to dump them on it. Dump them on this. Dump them on some whiteness. I think that those are not caterpillars, guys. They're just grubs. They were like, well, let's just call them caterpillars. Yeah, they're freaking grubs. This it's is... the 60s. We can get away with anything. And there's so many of them. I'm kind of starting to like the smell now that you put it on a napkin. They look like they're honey coated. Yeah, is there honey? Look at the ingredients. We have to taste them. We got to now. First of all, look at the residual crap at the bottom of this thing. It's like. It's still wet. I mean, that's a good can. <laughs> this, oh. this, this, is a, this is a new smell. This, I, there's yeah. no bogs at all. This bogs is... has left the building. Okay, there's no bogs in this at all. It is its own thing. It's unlike anything I've ever smelled in my life. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it'll be safe. I think at least I gotta tongue it. We just gotta tongue it. Let's just put it on the tongue and taste it. That is how you taste. <laughs> <laughs> Let it dance around. You're gonna you're gonna set it on your tongue. I'm gonna set it on my tongue and then I'm gonna let it dance around. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh! 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 oh, oh <laughs> that spot. Oh! Yeah. Oh. The one spot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, I need bugs. <sighs> Yeah, give me some. Get box. some bugs. Give me get some bugs. Just take it. Uh, take it. Oh, take, take it right oh, yeah. now. The killing of the brain cells. Take, take bugs. Not right, realize what happened. Suck with your mouth. Suck with your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that helps. Uh, <laughs> bugs would cover a world of hurt. Now, if Pixar came in and did a Bugs Life with this, we, we add a little eat, sweet tart. Eating the characters. Uh, yeah. Still not gonna work. Reese's Roasted Caterpillar. Nah, that's, that's dangerous. Yeah, potentially dangerous. Hey. But uh, hey, they were roasted, so kudos to them. Okay, but listen, we had a couple of winners today. We brought back Toy Story 2 cookies and Pillsbury Space Food Sticks. You're not gonna forget that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you know what time it is? Hi, my name is Ryan. And I'm Randy. We're from Atlanta, Georgia. And we're here at Westside Park with the skeletal remains of a mythical beast. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I think that they're trying to trying to pull one over. It's a sculpture. I think it's just a sculpture. You think it's not they really think a we're mythical stupid. beast? They think we're stupid. Ryan and Randy, don't try to fool us. Click the top link to see what extinct animal we should bring back and give mythical more. And to find out where the Willem and the Cality is gonna land. Where are the sounds of the Macon Brothers with the Macon Brothers Yearning Tea? Available now at mythical.com.